yard line. Let's call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And Jones has it over the middle. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Open man here, Sims complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A gain of nine brings up third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And that is incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. It'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead. Fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. Throw right side going to be caught by Hardman. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Out of bounds at the 21-yard line. It's a gain of five. To throw again on second down. Mahomes steps away. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That's good. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up second down. One-yard gain brings up second and nine at the 48-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of three. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number. We can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Here's the Chiefs punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. 
Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The throw taken in by Sims. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second and two at the 21. On the, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of six yards. And it's third. Remember, throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. The Saints on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. It's caught, Jones! And he is gonna have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure they only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. On play action, they'll throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Derek Nobby, the quarterback is... This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. sack they'll come up here on a second down and 12. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down. Makes it third down and 12 yards to go. On third down he'll drop to throw into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive backer to the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. And here now is Travis Kelsey. And look at the numbers. They have gotten him more involved. I guess the question now, Charles, defensively, how do you make him less involved? That's always a key question, isn't it? Sometimes other guys are starting to play really well and you shift your attention to them. You got to make sure you've got full focus on him because he's so good that if you don't, he finds a way to make plays. Always have two guys in his vicinity, usually trying to bump him off the line of scrimmage and get him out of his route. Give him nine there on the first down completion. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Marcus Davenport in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Mahomes. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. A gain of 12. 
Brings up third down and eight. And to give this time to the tailback. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Complete to number 34. A six-yard pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. Mahomes pass. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. At their own 26-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you're two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid it. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl two against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion mm. against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall them all, and what a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And the Chiefs are going to get him. And that's his third sack, and that ties the Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's 
a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. That catch good for only a couple. Big to Alvin Kamara. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Under pressure, and down he goes. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Steps away to his left. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. The penalty yards marched off as they'll try again on second and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. For Zach Ertz, incomplete. Brings up fourth and goal. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. Now it's second and nine. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. Saints. 14. 
for the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy. You know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. champs the Lombardi trophy is theirs and so are bragging rights for an entire season what a season it has been feels like we have been there every step of the way our entire crew doing a wonderful job thanks to my broadcast partner Charles Davis for all those guys I'm Brandon Gunn signing off we'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports